So let's start with a couple questions for you. Um, just at eight, 14 years old, you had already accomplished so much. Tell everyone what made you want to become a ventriloquist. Um, so when I was younger, I was really, really shy. And um, so my parents put me in the pageants. And um, I did a couple of those over the years. And I finally, I met this girl who did them. And she did ventriloquism for her talent. And I was just, I was amazed. I was mesmerized. I just wanted to try it so, 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 so bad. So I asked for tips. And I took those tips and I taught myself in my bathroom here. Pretty amazing. <laughs> what would, what do you enjoy most about being a ventriloquist? I think what I enjoy most is how I can use it and I can go out. I can hold it up for concerts. I can hold it up for her. And everyone's smiling and they're having a good time. And I know I'm doing my job because that's what it's all about. Oh, and um, also because it's unique and not many people do it. And so to do it, it's just really cool. Definitely. What was your first big accomplishment? Um, <laughs> I'm just going over um, So when I was I, when I was younger, I did gymnastics. Uh, I did it for four years, and um, it was definitely it was my passion before ventriloquism. And so I did. I went to regionals, and it's this really big competition. And I won floor. I had the highest score out of all the girls in the whole state. And well, actually, the whole country. And that was probably my biggest accomplishment was winning floor Pretty out impressive. of everyone. Definitely, so, that, yeah. that's a big accomplishment. Um, where do you find your own self confidence? 